Selena the series just dropped the part two trailer and it's going to bitty bitty bum bum straight into your heart. I'm so excited for the fans to see everything. Fans will recall part one ended with Selena's dad discovering her relationship with her guitarist, Chris Perez. You're fired! Dad, you can't fire him! Dad, we're in love! Fast forward to part two, and we'll see their love story unfold and ultimately their elopement. Come on, how can you be doing this again? Until my husband will be family and he'll have to be okay. What I'm excited for fans to see in season two is, is the relationship that forms between uh, uh, Chris and Selena and how they start to manage becoming young adults in a relationship. And as Selena's star rises, we'll see the strain it puts on her marriage. I'm worried they're gonna split up. We're supposed to lift each other up. We both want what each other wants, right? I don't know why you have to keep adding and adding Because and adding. what if it stops? What was the secret to you and Jesse coming together and really giving the, the love and importance that that love story deserves? A lot of communication. Him and I worked a lot with each other and had to be very vulnerable with each other and trust each other. And I trust Jesse so much and really just can't wait for people to see his work. Part two of the series will also naturally include lots of music and performances following Selena's decision to leave the band and record an album on her own in English. Selena, it's time. I want to take you solo. Okay. I haven't had the chance to tell them yet that if I do the English record, they can't be on it. And we get a glimpse into the series recreation of Selena's iconic 1995 performance at the Houston Astrodome in front of nearly 70,000 fans, one of her final shows before her untimely death. You know, her stage presence is very uniquely Selena and people know her for the for those performances and they are going to be looking at those details. And I think we really all paid such close attention to detail. And better grab your tissues because the series will also cover the end of Selena's life. Well, when you're gone, how do you want to be remembered? Somebody who wanted to be a role model, the best daughter, best sister, the best friend, best wife. I just want to be remembered as somebody who gave it her all. The Tejano superstar was just 23 years old when she was shot and killed by her fan club president, Yolanda Saldivar, in March 1995. We have to keep an eye out for her, even when she thinks we don't. No one can do everything alone. Let me help. In March, E.T. spoke with Selena the series executive producer and Selena's sister, Suzette Quintanilla. She opened up about the challenges of filming such heartbreaking scenes. I know that there's a lot of difficult things that you probably don't want to have to revisit. Was it emotional for you getting through season two? Um, most definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not a walk of the park, that's for sure. She's not here, you know, and we all know this. And it's just a little bit of everything. It makes you feel happy and, you know, there's some sad moments and then there's some moments that Personally, I don't want to revisit, you know, and it and it brings up some really weird feelings inside. So um, it's just a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. Selena, the series part two drops May 4th on Netflix. Cool.